Story Time at Home, presented by the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library. Hi there, I'm Miss Anna. I'm a youth librarian at the Avondale Branch Library, and today I'm going to read a book to you because I'm a little bit newer to the Cincinnati system, so the book that I chose is also about a new librarian, but it's called The New Librarian. The book is by Allison Donald, and the pictures are by Alex Willimore. It was almost story time. The children were ready. Dee couldn't wait. Isn't it time? She asked, but no one answered. Jack looked around. Our librarian isn't here, he said. Maybe she's just late, said Dee. Miss Merriweather is never late, said Kenzie. Then she's missing, said Dee. Let's go find her. <gasps> Look. A clue, footprints, said Dee. They aren't grown-up footprints, said Jack. They aren't kid footprints, said Alex. Dee looked closer. Hmm, what do you all think those look like? They're paw prints, she declared. They followed the paw prints among the bookshelves, through a galaxy, into an ocean, and down a runway. and spotted more clues. Hmm, what's on the desk right here? The librarian's desk feels sticky, said Jack. These books are shredded and torn, said Dee. And then they looked up and saw a new librarian. Hmm, are librarians supposed to eat books? I don't think so. You're not our librarian. Where's Miss Merriweather? Dee asked. The new librarian shrugged. Will you read us a story? Dee asked. The new librarian nodded. Hooray, cried the children. A princess story, a pirate story, a book about dragons? The new librarian looked bored. How about something different? Gemma suggested. Something exciting, said Jameson. Something we aren't allowed to read said Tom. Could you read us a scary story? asked Dee. The new librarian's ears perked up. He grabbed a book about bears. He opened the book and roared. Eee! The children screamed. He growled and stomped and roared some more. Do you all want to try roaring real quick? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Roar! The children loved it. Read it again, they cried. Someone's coming, said Dee. It was the missing Miss Merriweather. Sorry I'm late, she said. A volcano erupted in the ancient history section and there was hot lava everywhere, but it's all cleared up now. Miss Merriweather opened her book. Today's story is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Ooh, we love bear stories, Dee exclaimed. Once upon a time, there were three bears. Papa bear, mama bear, and baby, oh! Where's baby bear? The children cried. I know you're hiding, baby bear, said Miss Merriweather. It's time to come out now. The new librarian shuffled over sheepishly. Baby bear, my dear, you're late for story time too, said Miss Merriweather. The children waved goodbye as baby bear stepped back into his story. Now let's start again, said Miss Merriweather. And Baby Bear, a little girl, came to their house. Wait, where's Goldilocks? You know, don't you? Do you see her anywhere on the pages? Hmm, that looks like it. Right there, that's Goldilocks. It says, I love books. The end. I hope you enjoyed reading that story with me. I thought it was really fun. Thanks, friends. Get free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to Ohio Imagination Library.org to find out more.